It may seem a little sacrilegious to compare God's creation of the world to Microsoft Office 2013 and Windows 8. However, if you have the ability to see God in all that is visible, it won't seem like such a stretch to compare the order that God brought to the universe to the order that an operating system brings to a computer. Just as God's hand controls the elements of wind, rain, water, the seasons, and in fact all things seen and unseen, the operating system brings practical functionality to the computer. Windows 8 is the newest version of Microsoft Windows, the most common operating system for PCs. An operating system is a computer program or set of computer instructions that coordinates all the activities of computer hardware, such as memory, storage devices, and printers. In addition, the operating system provides the capability for you to communicate with the computer and the apps that are run on the system. The Windows 8 interface begins with the start screen. Programs are displayed as tiles. A tile is a shortcut to an app or other content. Users can input information with Windows 8 through a touch screen, a stylus, or a mouse. For devices with touch screen capabilities, users input information in part through gestures. Gestures include tapping, dragging, swiping, stretching, and pinching. A mouse is another input device for communicating with the operating system. Mouses vary in features, but most come with the ability to left and right click, some come with a wheel in the center, and some have additional features. When directions ask you to click on an icon on the screen, it is referring to pressing and releasing the primary button located on the left side of the mouse. Directions to right click refer to pressing and releasing the button on the right side of the mouse. The wheel helps you scroll vertically. Tilting the wheel left or right allows you to scroll horizontally. A scroll bar is a horizontal or vertical bar that appears when the contents of an area may not be completely visible on the screen. The scroll bar is located in the scroll box. Scrolling can be done using the wheel on the mouse or the arrows located at either end of the scroll box. To log on to your computer, swipe up on the lock screen to display a sign-in screen. Tap or click the user icon on the sign-in screen. If necessary, enter the user account password in the password text box. After logging into your computer, you are taken to the Windows Start screen with quick access tiles to frequently used programs. From here, you can access your desktop or any other program by touching the tile with your finger or clicking the tile with the mouse. To switch between the start screen and other applications, point to the lower left corner of the desktop to display a thumbnail of the start screen. Tap or click the thumbnail of the start screen to display the start screen. Tap or click the desktop tile to redisplay the desktop. If a tile is not present from the start screen, swipe in from the right edge of the screen or point to the upper right corner of the screen to display the charms bar. Click the search charm on the charms bar to display the search menu. Type the app name in the search box. Then click the desired app name from the search results to run the app. Microsoft Office 2013 is the newest version of Microsoft Office featuring the applications named on this slide. This course will delve more deeply into Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Access. The remainder of this presentation will take you on a quick tour of some of the features common to the entire Microsoft Office 2013 suite. When you open a new document or window, there are five window management options in the upper right corner. 
The X will close the application. The rectangle will display the application full screen on your monitor. The thin line will lower the application window to the computer's taskbar. The rectangle with the upward arrow will manage the display of the ribbon and the tabs, and the question mark will allow you to query the help files when you can't remember how to do a specific function. Each tab gives you access to a ribbon with unique functionalities. In this image, the ribbon of the Insert tab is displayed. To display other ribbons, simply click on another tab. Each ribbon contains several groups of related functions. For example, the Pages group contains functions for the cover page, a blank page, and a page break. To manage the display of tabs and ribbons, click the Ribbon Display Options button to the right of the application window. This will open the Ribbon Display menu, allowing you to show or hide the ribbon when tabs are clicked. To the far left side of the application window is the Quick Access Toolbar. Typically, the Quick Access Toolbar contains the Save, Undo, Print, and New Document icons. Should you want quick access to other features, the Quick Access Toolbar is customizable by clicking the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button. Let's take a look at creating folders. Creating folders is the building block for keeping your electronic files organized. Click the File Explorer app button on the taskbar for quick access to files and folders. Click the New Folder button and a text box will appear allowing you to type a name for the folder. Your assignment this week requires that you create several folders within a folder and take a print screen or screen capture of the expanded folder for upload to the assignment area. Once you've created several folders, you will benefit from being able to expand and collapse folders. This skill will be a benefit to you when you are looking for a specific file. Instead of opening every folder when you can't remember which folder you placed a document in, expanding a folder will allow you to scroll through its contents. Once folders are created, you can save files to existing folders. Click the File tab and then the Save As link. You can also create a new document, open an existing document, and close an existing document from the backstage view. A browse button will appear allowing you to search your computer and expand files as needed until you find the folder in which you want to save your document. You can also create a new folder from this dialog box. Should you need to rename a file, navigate to the location of the file to be renamed. Click the text of the existing file to select it, and then click the name of the file to edit it. Type the new file name in the text box, and then press the Enter key. To delete a file, navigate to the location of the file to be deleted. Right-click the file to be deleted to display a shortcut menu. Click Delete on the shortcut menu. If a dialog box appears, tap or click the Yes button to delete the file. To move a file from one location to another, navigate to the location of the file to be moved. Display the folder in the navigation pane to which you want to move the file. Drag the file from the right pane to the desired folder in the navigation pane. Occasionally, you may have need to copy a folder from one location to a flash drive to access at another location. To copy a folder from your computer to a flash drive, insert a USB flash drive in an available USB port on the computer. Click the File Explorer app button on the taskbar to make the folder window the active window. Navigate to the location of the folder you wish to copy. Press and hold or right-click the folder to display a shortcut menu. Tap or point to send. Tap or click the USB flash drive to copy the folder to the USB flash drive. 
If you don't remember anything from this presentation, remember how to access the help files from any Office application. Click the Office Apps Help button near the upper right corner of the app window to open the app's help window. Drag the window title bar to the desired location. If you are using a mouse, point to the lower right corner of the window until the mouse pointer changes to a two-headed arrow. Drag the bottom border to display more of the active window. Type the search text in the Search Online Help text box at the top of the app's help window. Tap or click the Search Online Help button to display the search results. Tap or click the desired link to view the help document. Tap or click the Home button in the Help window to clear the search results and redisplay the Help home page. Tap or click the desired link on the Help home page to display the associated page. Windows Help and Support is available when using Windows or when using any Microsoft app running in Windows. Swipe in from the right edge of the screen or point to the upper right corner of the screen to display the Charms bar. Tap or click the Settings charm on the Charms bar to display the Settings menu. Tap or click Help to open the Windows Help and Support window.